have to do it again. 20 bucks and I'll smile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, kids. Do you have like one of us to turn it so that you don't have to walk around? Yeah, that'd be awesome. You just like yeah. tell me when to do it. And I'll why don't, why don't, I was going to say, why don't you just roll over here since you're not tethered anymore? And then you can <laughs> turn that. Em, do you want to? Hey. Oh, yeah, I was probably catching a whole bunch of that corner, too. Okay. That might even work good there. Should you look down your point to see what it looks like? And no, because I'm not going to screw it up again. Okay. I'll be able to edit it. <laughs> okay, everybody look pretty. My name is Kevin. Come in, Steve. And this is a speech um, for the speech class, Orange 31831. Um, It is an object speech, and what I'm going to do is tell you about an object that is near and dear to me. Um, I'm really excited about it, and I hope you are uh, or will become excited about it also. So, I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see what I'm trying to convey to you through my speech. Um, will, will it be a kind of a guessing game? This object is a brand with a huge following. Um, they have many models. There's, um, I would hazard to guess that, probably 50 to 60 different models. And, uh, but there's only two themes throughout all of those. One is construction and the other is recreation. Company Origins started in, in uh, Minnesota in 1946. Um, as far as the construction side of it, they, um, 1911 I believe, they started um, manufacturing um, garden implements, uh, shovels and rakes and hoes, and uh, just after World War II, they decided to branch out into construction equipment. They were a major manufacturer in their area, um, and with this, this first uh, piece of equipment that they built was a crane. It was so popular, they sold 37,000 units the first year. And that was in 1946. Um, since then, they've branched out um, numerous different models. Uh, besides the cranes and the steam shovels, uh, they had uh, road graders, um, tractors, dump trucks, pickup trucks. <coughs> and now for the, the one thing that might tip you off to what it is, uh, the primary color is yellow. All of the uh, insignia and the badging on it is in black letters and over the years they've used primarily steel it's it's been a big uh, probably 90 percent of their products are, are steel and the other 10 percent are rubber aluminum a lot of plastic um, but just to keep the weight down on some of the items so uh, yearly they produce probably about a hundred thousand uh, I would say at least 100,000 uh, units. There's no uh, reliable information that I've been able to get a hold of during my research to base it off of anything more than about 100,000 units. Um, the neatest thing about this company, there's no known deaths associated with any of their products. It's kind of weird in this day and age that there wouldn't be a death associated with it, but um, let, let's roll with it and keep it going. Um, they produce the most popular truck in the world. That might be making you think a little bit more too, but mm. so um, one recall. They've only had one recall in the whole life of the company. Like I said, the company started in 1911. They started building construction equipment in 1946. And this one recall happened in 1999. And it wasn't due to any injuries or any deaths or anybody, you know, getting um, seriously ill or injured off of it, it was because of a paint flaw. Um, more clues. I already went over it's yellow. Um, they're made primarily of steel. They are tough as nails um, to the point where in one of their advertisements in 1984 or 85, um, they actually used an elephant to try and portray, portray how tough this equipment is. 
And it was the funniest thing because the elephant actually tripped up on the piece of equipment and uh, stumbled a little bit. Didn't really fall down, didn't hurt the elephant at all, so no elephants were hurt in this production. But um, we have uh, evidence that, that the elephant really didn't like it. So you think you have an answer to the object. And everybody's mm -hmm. looking at one another going, mm hmm. Okay. Here it is. And as one of the participants pointed out earlier, it is called the Tonka Mighty Dump. Um, and Tonka's big, uh, their, their motto that they've run with since 1972 is a toy shouldn't break just because a child plays with it. And with all the steel involved in this, um, it's just, it's huge. Um, another participant pointed out that when we were younger, um, it was it was uh, kind of a novelty that we would actually sit on top of this and ride it down the hill. Um, that's how tough they are. So, as important as this object is to me, it should be important to every other young uh, man or woman that decided to play with Tonka toys. Countless hours were spent wearing out the knees on our blue jeans, whether it was in the gravel driveway or in the asphalt street, uh, in the uh, carpeting in the house during the wintertime, um, carrying out all kinds of construction projects to make our fantasies come true with all of the toys that we have. I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have enjoyed presenting it. Thank you. <laughs>